beautiful. Now, Thank you. This is your first Grammy Awards, right? Yeah, I've never been before. So. It's very exciting. Yes. Yeah, and it's you seem very calm for, for such a big show. I'm not really that calm. So were you, what did you do all day long? All day long, I got up this morning. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> which, which is always really good to do. Yeah. Um, and then I came here and That's got it. ready in the trailer. You didn't do anything all day long? Well, I slept oh, you, in. Oh, you slept late then, you're saying? Yeah. Oh, because you went to that Clive great. Davis party. Oh, my gosh. I got to take pictures of all these famous people. And that's David Spade. That's David. Because he was sitting next to me at the table. Mm -hmm. I got a really star-studded table. Who else were you Ashley with? Ashley Simpson and Pete Wentz. Uh-huh. And Joe Simpson, Ashley's dad. Uh-huh. And um, David Spade. Uh-huh. <laughs> and at the table next to me was, oh, look what I was doing this whole time. Uh-huh. Look, it's an E. Spell, yes, I see Spell. it. That was great. See, you know, there was this whole great party. Jimmy Kimmel? That's Jimmy great. Kimmel was at the party. It's, it's Clive Davis throws the most amazing party every year. I didn't go because I wanted to be re refreshed for today. And uh, I'm older than you, so I, I have to get my <laughs> sleep. But they don't even start sometimes until like 9.30. It goes on to like, what, how late did they go last night? I don't know. I mean, I left. Um, Who's that? That's what I look like in the morning. Okay. Like, I took a picture just so you would see the before shot. And uh -huh. that's really me. That's, I'm like a ball of fur when uh -huh. I wake up in the morning. I'm just this You're big adorable. hairball. You're like a little pet. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. With animals with music, we were yeah. talking about that earlier. <laughs> that's right. You're my favorite thing then. Yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs> So who are you dying to meet here today? Who do you want to run into? Oh, at the Grammys. Mm -hmm. I've never met Justin Timberlake before. Mm -hmm. So he's a good one to meet. Yeah, I, you know, I've always liked his music and stuff, but uh -huh. he became um, number one on my list of people I want to meet after I saw him on your show, actually. Mm -hmm. And he called you, and he made all these weird voices, like, and you're thinking, like, who's this psycho that called me? Right, that's what I always think when he calls me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he was making all these weird voices, and you couldn't tell who it was. And, and then he got on the phone with you, and he was so nice. Yeah. And he was, like, hilarious and nice, and yeah. so that seemed like a good combination. He's a, he is a hilarious, nice guy. He's a very, very sweet, down-to-earth, I, I adore him. He's a great guy. So I hope you run into him. And if not, I'll have you on the show at the same time I have him on Do next it. time. Do it. That would be awesome. Yeah. All right. Right. Uh, so uh, now, you, are you interested? He's got a girlfriend. You're not interested in him to. No, no, okay. no. Who yeah. would have a crush on Justin Timberlake? Nobody. Nobody. No one. No. Ew. No. <laughs> I'm scared to hook you up with anybody, even if I meet somebody great, because I hear something that you do that kind of frightens me a little bit. Let's. I'm going to give you a chance to clear it up. When you have spare time, you drive past your ex-boyfriend's houses. Why? I don't do that. Yes, you do. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, I put that on my MySpace. My MySpace is not like the typical Taylor Swift is blah, blah, blah. So I wrote this bio on MySpace, and it's actually, it's very honest about who I am as a person. I'm like, in my free time, I like to drive past my ex-boyfriend's houses. I'm not like throwing eggs. It's, right. I'm just checking up on them. Checking up. <laughs> Checking up on what the front of their house looks like, well, or I it's mean, what really are you like see? an act of public service, you mm -hmm. know, I'm just uh -huh. seeing if they're. Okay. Are you uh, so you you have unresolved business? You still have crushes on your. Ex no, 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 right. no. So, so what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does that. It's just nobody admits to it. <laughs> I think that you're a fantastic girl, and I really hope you win tonight. You're so talented, and if you don't, you're 18 years old, and you have plenty of time, and you are, you're just a bundle of talent, and you're beautiful, and you're funny and smart, and that's all that you don't need an award. You've got all that stuff going for you. Thank you.